Hello everyone, this is Explorer. Let's explore Dominican Republic together. In this video, we go to Dominican Republic, which is engraved in the minds of most of us with the Survivor Program and Turquoise Beaches. Don't forget to subscribe to support our channel before you start exploring this hot Caribbean country famous for its natural beauties, people, and dance. The Dominican Republic is a Latin American country located in the Caribbean. Sharing the island of Hispaniola with Haiti, Dominican Republic is bordered by Puerto Rico to the east, Cuba, and Jamaica to the west. Dominican Republic is the second largest country in the Caribbean, after Cuba, with an area of 48,671 square kilometers. With a population of 11,120,000 people, it is the third largest country after Cuba and Haiti. Consisting of 31 cities, the capital of Dominican Republic is Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo, the largest settlement in the country with 2,253,000 people, is one of the most important commercial ports of the Caribbean. The third place that Christopher Columbus went to in his discovery of America, after the Bahamas and Cuba, is the island of Hispaniola, where Dominican Republic is located. Columbus named this island Hispaniola, meaning Little Spain. The Spaniards who settled on the island established a colony here and established the city of Santo Domingo and made it their capital. Thus, the Dominican Europeans became one of the first colonial centers in the Americas. When Columbus set foot on these lands on December 5, 1492, the indigenous Taino people of Mexican and Central American origin had been living on the island since the 7th century. Since the Spanish colonists settled on the island, the indigenous population was almost completely destroyed in the early 16th century due to the conflicts between the natives and the colonists and the epidemics such as smallpox and measles brought to the island by the Europeans. The Dominican people, who remained under Spanish colony for 300 years, declared their independence in 1821. Afterwards, it was under the occupation of Haiti and Spain again for a period of 22 years. Apart from the eight-year U.S. occupation during the Civil War in the early 1960s, the country largely preserved its independence. Today, it is a republic governed by the Dominican presidential system. Of the 10 million population, 73% are Afro-Mestizo, hybrids from the mix of Spaniards, indigenous Tayonans, and Africans. The Dominicans do not like the term hybrid, and these people, who carry the genes of blacks, whites, and Indians, express themselves as Dominicans. Whites make up 16% of the population, and blacks 11%. About half a million Haitians live in the country, with the political problems and the destruction caused by natural disasters in the former French colony of Haiti, one of the poorest countries in the world, Dominican Republic is receiving more and more immigrants from Haiti. There is also discomfort and racism against Haitians, who are mostly black, in the country. Dominican Republic will build a border wall to thwart illegal Haitian immigrants. In addition, the number of Dominicans living abroad is quite high. Only 2,200,000 Dominicans live in the USA. About 200,000 Dominicans also live in Spain. The official language of Dominican Republic is Spanish. Other languages spoken are English, predominantly Haitian Creole and tourist areas. The religion of about 95% of the population, mostly Catholic, is Christianity. It has the fastest growing economy in Latin America and the Caribbean. While Dominican Republic is the seventh largest economy in Latin America, it has the largest economy in the Caribbean and Central America. It ranks 73rd in the world with a per capita income of $10,573. The most important factors in the development of the economy are investments from the USA and increasing tourism revenues. 25% of foreign direct investment comes from the USA. Tourism also plays a vital role in the economy. The country, which receives an average of 7.5 million tourists annually, is the fourth most popular destination in Latin America after Argentina, Brazil, and Chile. 
every tourist in the country consumes three times as much water as a Dominican, and the tourism industry is responsible for 43% of commercial energy demand and 40% of the total country's waste. Manufacturing and agriculture are other sectors in the economy. In addition, Dominican Republic is very rich in natural resources such as gold, amber, and nickel. Dominican currency is the Dominican peso. One dollar equals 55 pesos. The minimum wage in the country is 15,000 Dominican pesos, or $270. Despite its economic growth, 21% of Dominicans continue to live in poverty. 43% of them are living under difficult conditions. There are also big development differences in urban and rural areas. One of the biggest problems in the country is drugs. Drug consumption and production is quite high. Even taxi drivers say they can find it conveniently by offering drugs to passengers. As a result, crime rates in the country are very high. The most common crime in Dominique, which has a crime rate of 71%, is theft. 65% of murders in the country take place during robberies. People who are suddenly stopped on the road, likely to be extorted and killed if they resist, live in fear. For this reason, you cannot see people taking out their phones outside, and even on the 10th floor of the apartment, there may be iron bars. Another thing that is high is corruption and bribery. The country ranks 123 among 180 countries in the World Corruption Perceptions Index. The cops ask for money directly instead of a driver's license. Despite all this, Dominicans may be the happiest people in the world. You can often witness people dancing in the streets to the accompaniment of the song on the buses and the music of bachata rising from the grocery stores. Dance is an integral part of Dominicans and also a means of socialization. Bachata, a type of music and dance unique to the Dominican, is almost ingrained in the genes of the Dominicans. These very friendly people are also very positive and helpful. Everyone always greets each other. It is even normal to call someone they do not know my love or my dear. Dominicans, who live in the Caribbean air for four seasons, also love to drink and have fun. The streets are noisy and quite crowded. In addition, the conditions of touristic and central places and local living spaces in the country are quite different. There is no hot water in local places where detached houses are common. Water is drawn from the tanks with electricity. Since these tanks are standing outside, it is usually warm and hot water is generally not needed because the weather is good. There are no trash cans on the streets. The accumulated garbage is collected by garbage collectors once a week. There are frequent power outages. These situations that I have mentioned do not apply to touristic and well-conditioned apartments. There are also a substantial number of shopping centers in the country. There are fruit bars on the streets where you can buy mixed fruits in the country, which is almost a fruit paradise. Although there is a metro in some places, transportation is generally provided by motor taxis. In addition, they are usually old on vehicles. One of the country's drawbacks is the rather large and silent mosquitoes. Dominicans are not conscious of nature and the use of plastic is very high. Plastic is also used in restaurants and people throw them into nature. In 2018, 30 tons of plastic waste hit the Dominican coast. If we look at other information about the country. In Dominican Republic, you may find that people do not remove tags from their clothes or bags. This is due to the fact that people like to indicate that their clothes are new. Baseball is the most important sport in Dominican Republic. Dominican athletes, who are among the best baseball players in the world, have the highest number of points in Major League Baseball after the United States. If we look at Dominic's Kitchen, their meals often include legumes, rice, and fish, sancocho, which is one of the most traditional dishes, and mango, which is indispensable for breakfast, are among the flavors you should try. You should definitely see the magnificent islands of Dominican Republic, 
the first colonial capital of America, Santo Domingo, and its sweet people. We have come to the end of our video. Don't forget to like, comment and turn on the notification bell before leaving our video. You can also watch our other videos from cards.